everyone. I'm so excited to be here. This is my first live with uh, this group and I'm really excited because you all are an amazing group of women and I've learned so much. So I know right now a lot of you are probably watching Tony and Dean and all of uh, his great group that he has. So uh, hopefully you'll watch this on the replay. I am a professional organizer. I've been a professional organizer for the last 15 years or so and I have worked with hundreds of clients and over that time I have discovered the power of less less is more so my goal with my lives which will be every Friday at 2 15 is to give you a lot of value and talk to you about my experiences and give you some insight inside of organizing and I really want to help you work smarter not harder so today's topic is a capsule wardrobe and I don't know how many of you have uh, heard of a capsule wardrobe if you practice a capsule wardrobe if you do let me know uh, your thoughts and how you work it a capsule wardrobe is basically a finite number of items of clothing that you have that go together and you love every piece so you mix and match and it includes accessories and shoes and all of those pieces go together to create your capsule wardrobe now why do you need a capsule wardrobe well I know a lot of us love clothes and we love to shop but I know the older I get the less time I really want to spend on thinking about what I'm gonna wear I really just wanna look good most of the time and get on with my life do things that I enjoy doing and not spend as much time shopping and trying on clothes and trying on outfits and thinking about outfits to put together so a capsule wardrobe gives you freedom from that and it actually will help you love your closet again so by doing that, you're going to save money because you're not going to be shopping as much. You know exactly what you have and that all of it goes together. You're also going to spend less time doing laundry. And you might say, how? How? By doing more frequent, smaller loads. You're going to save time because, again, you're not going to be running around trying to figure out what you're going to wear. And you're going to have fun putting outfits together so if you think well I really love shopping and that's something that my girlfriends and I do together that's great instead save that money and shop in your own closet first and put outfits together that way it's really a great way to kind of transfer that and you can even shop in each other closets too so if you think a capsule wardrobe might be for you you could get together with some girlfriends and all do it together and then whatever they decide they don't want anymore you could kind of shop in each other's closets so let me kind of get down to it and tell you how you do it so now we know what it is it's a specific number of items of clothing and you can do a capsule wardrobe for each season so you could have a spring summer fall and winter capsule wardrobe you could do a classic capsule wardrobe you could do a travel capsule wardrobe you can do a work capsule wardrobe and a casual capsule wardrobe so there really are no rules you can kind of do whatever makes sense for you and your lifestyle but it's a very simplistic way of getting dressed and one thing I really love is you kind of determine and figure out what your style is I really didn't even know what my style was and I still think it's kind of eclectic but you never really know until you start looking at what you love to wear so we know why we need it and we know what it is so how are we actually going to do it so the first thing you really need to do is like I said before shop in your own closet so you're gonna take everything out of your closet and yes everything this is why it's fun to kind of do with a friend and if you decide to do this with a friend make sure you guys make a packed up front to be honest with each other about what each other fits in and looks good in because you want somebody that's really going to be honest with you so you want to take everything out and initially you want to just kind of go through and decide do I love this does it fit um, does it is it torn does it need 
fixed? Am I actually going to fix it? Have I worn it in the last year? Is it comfortable? Does it make me feel good? There's a bunch of, bunch of questions that I have that you can kind of go through to determine uh, if you want to keep that item of clothing. So once you go through and you have a pile of clothes that you think you want to keep, that's when you really need to try them on. And you need to try everything on. See how it fits. You really want to feel great in everything you wear. And I will tell you now that that's really the key to a capsule wardrobe is breaking free from your clothes defining you and you defining yourself. I have a great story. There was, um, when I was 15, I would babysit for uh, my neighbors and the mom was super cute and I just thought she was so glamorous and I really uh, enjoyed her. And one evening I went over to babysit and she came out, and I remember this is the 80s, she came out in a gorgeous sequined gown and it was stunning. And she went to her party and then she came back and I said, you know, how was the party? She said, well, it was fun. It was really fun, but everyone else was in jeans. So I was a little overdressed. And I said, oh, wow, because I'm thinking, you know, I would be so embarrassed. What would I do? And she said to me, she said, I thought about coming home and changing, but then I thought I look good. And all these years later, I still tell that story. I still love that story. And I really, really realize that it's actually how we present ourselves, how we feel about ourselves in what we wear that really matters. So if you feel good, everything you wear is comfortable, um, you feel good in that color, it's a style that fits your body shape, then you, half the battle is gone. I also remember a sh quick story. I was uh, at an event, a fundraising event that my uh, company donated to, and very glamorous. And there was a beautiful young lady there, and she was very thin and just great dress, you know, great body. And I was, you know, kind of jealous and. I was watching her because I was sitting, I wasn't stalking her, I was sitting behind her and she kept fidgeting with her dress the whole evening. And I thought if I was her, I would be standing up and smiling and walking around saying hi to everyone. But even she was uncomfortable in what she was wearing. And that was just so surprising to me because we're all kind of the same, even no matter what our body shape, no matter um, what we looked like in the past or what we want to look like in the future we really only have the present right now and noticing that she was uncomfortable kind of made me think wow it really is how you feel how comfortable you are and what you're wearing so those are two stories i wanted to share with you um so how are we doing it so we have our clothes and we've tried everything on so the next thing you really want to think about is how you live your life if you live in a climate that is very warm or cold all year round you don't have many changing of the seasons then you might need less clothes as opposed to if you're in a climate where i'm in ohio it's 70 degrees and maybe 30 degrees sometimes on the same day so you wouldn't you would need a more clothing probably if you had lived in an environment where the weather changed dramatically also do you think about how you live your life do you go to a lot of work events fancy events do you work from home do you usually wear casual items and are you active are you running errands what is your typical day look like do you go out on a lot of date nights that kind of thing and then you can kind of think about how you want to structure your capsule wardrobe. So kind of get the ideas together. I, I kind of recommend that if you're brand new, you start out with a travel capsule wardrobe. So if you are, you know, things are um, luckily opening up and if you are planning any travel plans, this would be a great opportunity to try travel capsule wardrobe. I know a lot of us overpack when we travel, so starting there really gives you a good idea of how it would work for you and how much less you have to pack in your luggage. Um, and I'll talk about that in a few minutes. But you want to think about 
what categories, pick three main categories, active, work, casual, loungewear, that kind of thing. And then you want to think about mix and match ability. So you really want to pick clothing that you feel good in, that goes with everything, and can be interchangeable. So to do that, you need to pick several base colors, you know, maybe two or three base colors, a neutral color. And then you can pick uh, three or four accent colors and then add a couple, maybe one or two patterns, maybe a flower pattern or a leopard print, something like that. So you want the color schemes to kind of all go together. Now this does not mean that your wardrobe is gonna be boring by any means. What it means is everything's gonna go together and you can pick up one, you know, kind of trendy item a season or you might go shopping to replace an item that you need but you're always going to be shopping with purpose so you're never going to be over shopping or have impulse buying or overspend because you'll have your budget set and you can actually shop with purpose so one thing i know is that we all kind of tend to accumulate so many clothes and i just want to touch on that for a minute and the reason that we often have too many clothes is, well, there's several reasons actually. One, we love a deal. We love a deal and if we can get something at a good price, we buy it. Sometimes we buy it in more of the same color or in multiple colors. We don't think about if we really need it or are gonna wear it, it's just a great deal. Sometimes we hold on to an item because it was really expensive, even though we don't wear it and like the girl I was talking about at the event, we don't feel comfortable in it we don't want to get rid of it because we paid a lot for it. It might also be a gift. Uh, one of the big reasons we hold on to clothes is because it reminds us of our past or our future, what we want in our future. So we might think, oh, I'm going to fit into that someday, even though it's four sizes too small for us. Or we might want, not want to get rid of clothes that were too, are too big for us now if we lost weight, just in case we might need them again. So you kind of need to let go of all those fears, again, not letting the clothes control you, but you controlling the clothes. So once you have your list, and there's lots of lists, I have some available uh, that will kind of help you with your um, picking out of clothing items, kind of a sample, and I can talk about that in a minute. But also, you know, you want to think about the shoes and accessories as well. So I really love multi-purpose items. If you can find, you know, a sweatshirt that's reversible or a dress that's reversible or a necklace where you can add charms to it for different looks. Same thing with stackable rings and stackable bracelets, that kind of thing. So adding those, again, you want to capsulize that as well with shoes. You probably don't need 15 pairs of booties. I know, don't tune me out yet. Um, in 15 different colors, you probably just need a few in some basic colors. And again, all of this is up to you because remember there really are no rules. So um, if you're thinking about doing a capsule wardrobe, so one thing you can think about, and I'll kind of go over a brief little overview of what that might entail. So if you have, say, 12 items, you have maybe um, a faux leather jacket, a trench coat or rain coat, and a blazer. And then you have a white t-shirt, a black blouse, and then a patterned shirt that kind of goes with your color scheme. And then you have a jean, a trouser pant, and a skirt. And then you have a booty, sneakers, and flats. So those, you have three in each category. You can actually make, and this isn't including accessories, you can actually make 81 outfits out of those 12 pieces of clothing. It's true. So you can look online and there's some different ideas that you can have or get, I recommend you kind of get a board um, and make one a collage of colors and styles you like at home, or you can also do a, a private Pinterest board 
And obviously, if you're into Pinterest, you know there are a bunch of ideas, and you can kind of put some things together that way. And it's a great place to also research capsule wardrobes as well. But one thing to kind of think about is um, how you're going to purchase. So once you get your capsule wardrobe done, and it will take you some time to do this, but it will pay off in the time you save and money, trust me. Then you can go and write down what your list is. And for my clients, I they save so much room in their closet. It's not overstuffed anymore. They love their closet again. And it's easy for them to get dressed in the morning. And nobody ever notices if they're wearing the same pair of pants with a different shirt. And adding a scarf or a necklace or earrings. And if you get earrings, I like the hoops. And then they you can add adjustable um, or add charms to them. That is a great multi-purpose item as well. So you're going to write your list down. And until you get used to it, you can actually take pictures of all your tops, all your bottoms, all your shoes, and then either print them out or use an app. I like Stylebook. It's a great app to use. And then you can mix and match all your outfits together. And it's kind of like a game. I think there actually is a game uh, app available that where you can play. It's called Style Me or something like that, but you kind of style the models that are in the app. And you can do this for yourself, and it's a lot of fun. So you can play around with that app or play around with the pictures. Add an additional item every season if you want to, but you kind of take inventory. And then with the money you save, go on vacation. You know, do something fun, uh, something for yourself. Put that money into a fund for retirement. Once you see the benefits of a capsule wardrobe, it will far away. You'll wish you would have done it sooner. And like I said, if you try with the travel wardrobe at first, it can really help and kind of give you the right direction. There are no rules. So you could have anywhere from 30 to 80 pieces of um, clothing in your wardrobe, depending on what it is. So like I said, there are no rules. One thing I do want to talk about is a lot of women started working from home last year and some of us aren't sure if we're going back in the office we may stay working from home now is a great time to go through your work clothes make that a capsule wardrobe so if you do go back to work you don't oh there's my cat hi chloe <laughs> you don't have all of those items that you really don't need anymore so this is a great time to do that to start thinking about a capsule wardrobe it's a great time to go through your closet I can tell you from experience there's nothing nothing better than a clean closet when I organize teenagers closets uh, a lot of times the girls do cartwheels in the room because they just love it so much and they have their friends over to look at it and it just takes off so much stress and I'm pretty sure you will find some things that you didn't even know that you had or didn't remember you had and you might have some things with the tag still on them. And again, really ask yourself the questions that need to be answered to help you decide if you want to keep those items. This is really, really important. I also want to mention that, um, you know, it's just because you spent a lot of money or just because you think you might hold on to it really really kind of be tough on yourself about what you decide to keep because it's really important that you feel good in everything. Now, if, say you have some items that you don't really want to donate and I recommend donating or maybe having a swap with some friends, but there's some consignments online that you can use. I've used ThreadUp and Swap. There's also Poshmark and Shopify, but there's several online options that you have. Now some of them are a little backlogged because of COVID last year, but those are some resources as well. But you want to keep in mind they need to be in good condition and uh, clean before you send them in. So if you kind of look those up, they'll give you the guidelines that you need to um, follow to make sure that the clothes will be accepted. 
I would love if anybody has any questions to kind of let me know. Let me know, again, if you have a capsule wardrobe and what you like most about it. Um, my cat is very, very friendly, so she might hop up here. I forgot to close the door. There she is. And I also am interested in some things that you have found are helpful when you're shopping. What tips do you have for shopping? I know trying them on is important. A lot of times we don't try something on and we get it, but then we don't really want to take it back. So this is all about saving money and time, right? But we want money in our pocket. And if you have clothes that are in your closet that are not doing anybody any good, donate them, sell them, get them out of there, because you want to fill that space with the good stuff. The stuff that you love, the stuff that you like, the stuff that you wear, that's actually what is most important to me, at least, you know, my family, my friends, my relationships, those kind of things. So um, if I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to talk about with a capsule wardrobe, unfortunately, nobody's asking any questions that I can see. I hope I'm doing this right because it is one of my, it's only my second live, so I want to make sure technologically I get everything correct. I will be looking back, so if you're watching the replay, please leave a comment and I'll be sure to check it out and answer your question. I love talking about organizing in general, so that is something that I will be sure um, to do is to reply to you. I know a lot of times uh, when we are purchasing something or trying to let go of it, peer pressure can be a big thing. You know, oh, get it, get it, it looks great on you, that kind of thing. That's why you want to have a friend that you can trust. And I think I think it was Peter Walsh that once said, you want to pick your clothes like you pick your friends wisely because really having poorly fitting bad clothing is that doesn't make you feel great is like having a best friend that talks to you behind your back and that's not something that you want at all uh, oh I do want to talk a little bit about fit and body shape and colors so I know uh, when you're trying to pick out a color that looks good on you it's sometimes not the colors that we see when we're out or we're drawn to. So I love the color like a light, light minty teal blue, but it's just not something that looks good on me, unfortunately. And I found that out the hard way when I purchased something, I was all excited, tried it on, and I looked really tired and older, and no, it didn't work. And for um, the holidays one year, I received uh, this dark, burgundy purplish sweater and it's not something I would normally pick but I really really loved it so there's a lot of uh, places online where you can look for your color there's quizzes you can take there's probably some apps you can use that will give you the colors that look best on you I know old school there was like the cool colors the winter colors and then the warm colors the summer colors so you were either a fall or a summer or winter or spring and that can be a great way to save time and narrowing down your color choices. And also body shape. So knowing your body and accepting your beautiful, beautiful body for the way it is, which is so important, can really, really help. And you can start to understand what looks good on you and what doesn't. Does an empire waist uh, flatter you? Do you like sleeve long sleeves or short sleeve or sleeveless? Do you like full skirts or pencil skirts? And there's a lot of resources as well for this to determine your body shape, but also to see what clothes are going to look good on me. What is still fashionable that I can wear? And that's one thing you want to think about too when you're going through your clothes, especially if they're older, is is it still in fashion? And don't keep it waiting for it to come background in fashion that's just not a good idea let it go let it go so I think that about sums it up we talked about what a capsule wardrobe is and we talked about why you need one and then we also talked about how to do it we talked about kind of shoes and accessories and why we have so many clothes so that's about everything I wanted to touch on if you want any uh, more information about a capsule wardrobe, I do have a video that goes into all this in a little bit more detail. 
and I will put the link below is um, on my website's shop. Uh, it also includes five PDFs, which could be really helpful when you're planning your capsule wardrobe, and that can help guide you, including some questions to ask yourself when you're thinking about keeping or not keeping something. I also have some other things available in the shop if you're interested in. Uh, as far as, well, I'm a professional organizer, and then I am also a life coach, happiness coach, life purpose coach, and goal success coach. Whew. And so I have resources there as well. And I know there's a lot of amazing, outstanding women um, that coach as well. I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, but you can look at the downloads that I have because I do offer some workbooks for goal success and life purpose that are kind of fun. Now also on the shop, I have a ton of freebies. So there's a lot of freebies that you can download. And if you want to be the very first one to get the freebies, all you have to do is join my Facebook group and it is called Light My Spark and you can also go to lightmyspark.com to join the group and that's where all the freebies that I create are uh, released first. I also do a lot of presentations or several presentations I have more in the works um, first for that group as well and it's just a lot about motivation there'll be organizing tips it's just a very positive space, a very positive space that I wanted to create so that all the amazing women in my life and the amazing women I haven't even had a chance to meet yet can come together for support and share ideas. So I would love it if you join and also be active in the group as well. And I'll put a link to that um, in the comments in case you're interested in joining that Facebook group. And I focus a lot in there on organization and on organizing your life. So after working with so many clients for so many years and helping them organize their space, I realized there's a huge connection between organizing your mind, your space, and your day. And I'm working on something right now, a productivity uh, presentation, because I really think it can help us all work smarter, not harder, and get more done in less time. And it really is just some simple tricks that you have that you need that I've learned from working with companies uh, over the years. So that's going to be included in the group as well. So I want to thank you all so very much. And like I said, I hope I did all this right. If you are sending me comments and I just don't see them, I apologize. But send me something at the bottom and make a comment, say hi, let me know what you thought. Any comments or suggested are much appreciated. And also let me know if you are interested in upcoming topics about organization, specifically organizing with binders or paper filing systems or kitchen organization and meal planning, organizing your closet, life hacks. <laughs> These are just some of the ideas that I have that I was thinking about sharing with you. And we'll be doing another one next Friday at 2.15. So I hope to see you there as well. Thank you so much. You are all beautiful and I hope you have a wonderful day.